Hello and welcome back everyone. In today's video I'll be reviewing this Pelican 2380 uh, Pelican Pro Gear flashlight. I've had this light for uh, about a year and um, yeah, I just put it back in the box so you guys see what it looks like when you buy it. So yeah, I'm going to review this as, you know, as quickly as I can. I want to try to keep it as short but also at the same time as thorough as possible. So first I'm going to talk to you about the features it has. Then I'm going to mention, you know, things, my, you know, my impressions of it and things that I would have changed. And lastly, I'll tell you, I'll tell you about the things that I really, really liked about this light. And uh, with that, let's begin. So yeah, when you get this light, you're going to get it, you know, it's, it's in the box like this. It's got the features written on it. I'm just showing this to you in case if you want to buy it for someone as a gift to know what you expect, you know, what to expect with it. So yeah, let's, let's go on to the features here. Slide to uh, slide beam, you know, like the uh, slide to focus goes from flood to spot. The uh, different modes you get high, strobe, and low. Removable pocket clip, aluminum body, you know, they, they mentioned that it's aerospace grade. And uh, yeah, and then knurling on it, the non slip knurling. The amount of lumens on max, and also the runtime on low. This is a bit deceptive, you think you're going to get this many hours of that intensity, but that's not the case. But, you know, all most flashlight companies do that. Guaranteed for life, it's Pelican. Pelican makes great, you know, great items. I've, I've have, I have their cases. Their cases are really solid, so their light are no different than that. So yeah, Pel Pelican Pro Gear in the back, you know. Got the lumen output, you get 3 hours on the high and 16 on the low. Now the 26, it might seem really low compared to the uh, the um, 260, but it is very much still usable. Again, mentions the flood beam, you know, flood to spot. And this I really like too, is that it included the batteries. Most flashlights you have to get your own, they don't include one. In, in case you were also wondering, yeah, made in China, but quality is still good so I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna pout about it and with that let's just break into the box I'm talking for about a how long is it in a while anyways so you get your little manual put that aside and the light now the batteries it came with were the copper top Duracells I just put these uh, red ones with the power check on it get the light out of this and there's also a set of batteries in here. Let me show you. This is, well, this is the high. And um, another thing that it's now mentioned on this box is that this flashlight has a battery status indicator. Most people think that this little image here, this little pictogram is the indicator, but that just shows you that the polarity of the batteries are forward. Um, when you look at the manual, it will tell you how to how to get the uh, how to get to the status feature. You click the ba the back button six times as fast as you can, and on the sixth one you hold down, and the f number of flashes will tell you how much battery life you have. Right now, I'm going to try it with this set of batteries inside, and uh, we'll see. So there we got two flashes. This the set of batteries in this are nearly depleted. Um, you know that that's a really good feature to have. Most flashlights, in most LED flashlights, will run out of power without you noticing it. The dimming effect on LED lights is not as noticeable as incandescent ones. So I think that's a good feature to have in a light. So let me get out, get these old batteries out of there. And uh, these are actually the same as the ones I have over here, but the power checks, and as you notice, they, these are completely depleted. They're dead. They don't even show anything on this bar. Let me throw those over here. Not get them mixed with the good ones. Get the good ones out. Now when you press the good one, so you get the full bar here. Showing that you got fresh batteries. 
So remember, as this picture showed, the positive end goes forward. And now with the fresh batteries, you see how much brighter that is? And uh, I'm, going, I'm going to do the uh, power check one more time. So yeah, we got four flashes, meaning that the battery is fresh and ready to go. So let me show you the the uh, flood to spot feature with the sliding on this desk. Now, it's not as visible here, but I'm, I'm going to also try to edit in a small video that I shot in the darkness for you to kind of get an idea of how that looks like. Uh, in the video that I shot in the dark, that's on high. But it's the same idea on low and strobe, of course. Overall, my impressions of the light is that it's a, a bit more larger than what I'm used to. Uh, my original EDC is this Phoenix uh, LD10. Uh, it's really good light, but it's nearly half the size of what, uh, what we have over here. The Pelican even though it's large, it's it's easy to carry. This the the uh, larger bezel, the head here, feels a little weird in the pocket, but you get used to it. Uh, do be careful; it prints on your jeans, so you get a little bit of a, a wear mark in the jean when you wear it long enough. Other than that, it's a pretty good light. Let me tell you about a few things that I would have changed though to make it a little bit a little bit better. I really like the focus that the beam focuses. But what I would have changed is, instead of having it be a slide to focus, I would have rather have seen a twist to focus that we're kind of used to on, say, a mag light or something like that. The reason being is, when you slide here like a trombone to focus it, the length changes. And also, let's suppose you um, you have it on on spot and you work on something, and you throw this in your pocket or you throw it into a tool bag or whatever, the movement will make the light, like, you know, the length change. So the next time you go to turn it on, it'll be a different setting than what you had left it off as. I would have also liked to have seen a good lanyard loop in the back, or maybe on the clip. Something that you could put a little lanyard through, uh, maybe a wrist strap, something like that. That would have been great. A memory switch would have been also a great idea. Let's see the way it works is uh, when, you, when you cycle to, let's say, low, let's suppose we work in an area that's very low, like, you know, low light, so you go low. So you work on low, and it's a very dark area, you want to not, you know, flash a bright light to, you know, uh, not ruin your night vision. So you turn off the light, you put the light away, you bring it out the next time. When you turn it on, it'll be on high, so it's going to be really bright, it's going to blind you for a second, and that's, you know, you don't need that. What I do to remedy that is I put the uh, the front of the light in my palm and I cycle to like low and then I work on whatever I do. That's a bit inconvenient. I would have liked to have seen maybe a memory switch or a, a mode button that you can like, you know, select the mode in that fashion. That would have been great. Speaking of modes and mode buttons, it would have been also good to have a, uh, a middle ground between these. Uh, this is a very big jump between, the, between them, if, if you notice that. Uh, maybe a hundred lumen in between them, that would have been great, uh, you know, to get a bit more light than that, but at the same time also a bit more use than this. Just a small thing. When it comes to the battery level indicator, I would have liked to have seen something a little bit different than to have to cycle through the modes to get, you know, the number of flashes and such. Maybe a little press button similar to what this battery has to get like the level of battery life left. That would have been good. But, you know, again, it's just a minor change. Overall, I think this is a good light. Uh, I would definitely give it a 4 out of 5 stars. And, uh, you know... To be fair, I'm just going to go over a few things that I really like about this light. You know, amongst the many things I like, the ones that stand out. Number one, this light takes AA batteries. They're very common. Uh, they're easy to find. They're not that expensive. You have different options. And I really like that. 
instead of having specialty uh, you know batteries you can get them anywhere the price is also a really good point on this most lights that are comparable to this will be in the hundreds or maybe even two hundred dollar range but this is fifty dollars to be exact it's forty five dollars and eighty cents from Amazon and that was about a year ago I'll have to double check and I might even leave a link to uh, the Amazon page for this if you want to go check it out what I also like is the fact that this light is waterproof up to a meter most times flashlights are water resistant this one's waterproof which is even better for me I mean water resistant does it for what what I do I'm never gonna go diving with it which I mean you can't it's a meter only but hey even that meter is great that means this could be in like a puddle it could be completely submerged and still be fine because it's sealed and it's got you know little uh, o-rings and grommets and things like that the light cast when you go into flood mode is really nice the video doesn't do any justice it's very crisp it doesn't have any lines or streaks which i like that the momentary switch switch is good so you just you don't have to click the light you press it slightly and the light comes on whereas in the phoenix when you press it nothing happens you have to click it for it to you know for the light to come on uh this has a momentary and the battery indicator is kind of an important feature on leds and this one has it you know even though it's a bit of a pain to get to because in led lights you don't notice how quickly your light dims as much as say a uh, incandescent one so it's good to have some way of checking up on your batteries uh, i used to get just get these uh, you know battery power checks because i had the phoenix and i still do those are real con convenient instead of having to pull out a voltmeter you have that and those are the things i like about this light if you have any questions please leave them in the comment um, in the comment section below if you like the video you know hit a like button and subscribe to see more videos like this and uh, i will see you next time and have a great day